I want I want to go out. Yes, absolutely. And then gonna block my number, but still look at my story on Instagram. No, he didn't. He showed the what, bro? See, <laughs> <laughs> bite my tongue? Never. See what they don't know what is they don't know they they're don't tuning know. in the DBYC podcast, and I'm just discovering the world around me. Kaisha, I love you. Be like God is telling you to keep going. You quit on yourself. You really down bad. Tune in Wednesdays at seven o'clock Eastern time. Hey everybody! Today we're here with Diamond Johnson. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great. Um, today we're doing a mini series called Spooky Love, and we're gonna get into it right now. Have you ever been in a zombie relationship? Yeah, cause it was just dead. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm gonna be straight, really honest, because like I want to say about like three, four years back, yeah, the relationship didn't last because it wasn't no connection. It wasn't nothing there. It was just it was just dead. So I want to say that's a zombie relationship. You know what? You really picked up on that real quick. I was ready right. for the explanation and everything. All right. But you know what's crazy though? Like these relationships don't be lasting because it's like people are so scared to get in relationships yeah. and make it actually work. Or as soon as they get mad, they're ready to deal. Right. I just, I feel like that's just the generation. I don't feel like it was always like that. I feel like that's like a new little trend or something. Like, yeah. Because it's just like, why y'all like this? Like y'all ain't giving no time. Y'all just ready to go. But y'all gotta realize like, y'all ain't gonna run into nobody perfect. You know what I'm saying? Tell them. Nobody, you ain't gonna run nobody perfect. It's always gonna be something you don't like, and it's just gonna be up to you at the end of the day if you gonna, you know, oh, okay, is this gonna be okay with you? Is this something you can deal with, or is it something you just straight up just dislike? Some, but but some gotta, people be having like bucket lists of what they. Y'all can't be having bucket lists because yeah. what if that? How would you feel if somebody had a bucket bucket list for you? Cause and you did perfect. something they don't like, right? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it goes both weird. ways, y'all. It goes both ways. It does. It does. Yeah. My next question is, who is the ex that keeps on haunting you and why do they make you feel that way? Mm. Or you don't have to say their name if you don't want to. I ain't gonna say their name, <laughs> I ain't gonna say their name. But I'll say it'll be the last person I deal with because I feel like it's still some tension in between us because I don't think it ended it the way they wanted it to because they wanted it to end on me being the problem so bad and that wasn't the case case was if we just fell out because of personal reasons right and you know it's been cutting me ever since like it's just like I feel like it's still some tension there but at the end of the day I don't let it go and I feel like they didn't because they still lingering around uh, you know waiting on me to text back or send the text hoping I respond and I, it's really over with <laughs> it'd be crazy it'd be the same one that watch your stories like your pictures yeah. and everything like, just lurk, they're still lurking around just see if they can find something you to know? get you back right and it's like nah that's dead like just leave it in the past right if your romantic life was a scary movie what would the title be oh that's a good question <laughs> that's a good question ask that question again if your romantic life was a scary movie what would the title be Leave quickly. Wow. Leave quickly, cause I'm telling you, as soon as you see the signs, you got. As soon as y'all see them signs, get up out of that melee. Don't even wait for something bad to happen. See, y'all just be waiting for stuff to happen. If y'all see that something is incorrect or something just not right yeah. from the jump, leave, and you'll be all right. But a lot of people stay, and that's why. That's why I call leave quickly. But you, you do got some people that just decide to stick around until some, you know, something happens. To them. Cause like you be wanting to have a little faith in these people sometimes. Right. Be, yeah, yeah. Let me want to have some faith, but it's just like if it's just not there, you can't force it. That's true too. You can't force it. It's like I guess you get to a point where it's like, when do you know when to exactly leave? Cause like some things you like. Oh, they always want X, Y, Z, but it's not that bad. Like, do you think people be making excuses for them? I, I think so. I think it's because they just don't want to be alone. Some people make the excuses like that because they don't want to be by myself. By Come themselves. on. Come on. And it's just like it's okay being by yourself because if you feel like that, obviously you need to be by yourself then. And 
until you know you get right back into the right state of mind. Because if you got a train of thought like that, you mm -hmm. don't need to be with nobody, period. At all. Until you get yourself back right in the state of mind. Nah, because she's speaking facts. Like, yeah, for real. I've been single, what, going on like five years now. <laughs> that ain't no wrong with that. It ain't you know, nothing I'm wrong single, with it. I'm single too. It ain't nothing wrong with it. It's like, because at, at some point in time, you got to be like, all right, I'm not going to keep on keeping on. Like, I got short patience sometimes. And it's like, you keep giving people, new, you got, what's your favorite color? What do you like to do? I don't nobody want to keep going through that. Right. So I just feel like. Just be patient, y'all. All I got to say is just be patient. It's going to come. Like, y'all ain't got to force y'all self in a relationship y'all ain't want to be into. And don't be trying to, you know, force that other person to, you know, act right. If they ain't acting right, that, Leave them be. Let them be. Yeah. I agree with They ain't that. kids. Y'all ain't kids. You know what I'm saying? I not think kids. a lot of people stuck in that, though. Because it's like, a lot of people don't understand that we are really, we growing up, man. Like, we got to get into these adult conversations, adult activities. Like, taking me to the movies. Sometimes ain't going to get it. I mean, it's cool for a first day just to see. But even then, it's like, if you take me to the movies, when are we going to talk? When can I get to know you? Like, I don't know, something. Just put it like this, y'all. Y'all can't raise people. Y'all can't. Y'all can't change nobody that don't want to be changed. Don't be trying to raise somebody's son or daughter. So if they are already like that, they gonna be like that. And they obviously, if they ain't for you, don't be trying to change them. They be somebody else. Yeah. Because they can be, be right. perfect for somebody else. Right. All right. Our next question is: In what ways did your previous relationships make you want to hop on a broomstick and fly away? <laughs> Mm. I say as soon, as soon as you notice what the problem was, I don't, I don't know how they actually explain it. Cause I feel like I said it already. So yeah. In some type of way, I don't really know how to explain that. I, I guess more so, what did they do to you that made you just be like, I don't want to deal with this no more? Mm. I want to say use me. I want to say just straight up use me, cause like. The way I realized I was being used, and I ain't ashamed to uh, explain this. The way I realized I was being used is that when the money stopped coming through, uh, you stopped giving that person money. I'm not saying, you know, I stopped making money. I'm saying when you stop sending them money, you don't hear from them no more. And that's crazy. Because, like, you care about a person so much that you want them to You want to help them out? Yeah, you try to help them out. And then, you know, that that's how you know somebody will just use you because you don't hear from them no more. Once you stop doing something... That's all they was there for. Mm. It's time to go, y'all. It's time to go. I guess I gotta ask you this before. Have you ever got to a point where you just like, I'm done with trying to find people or I'm trying, like, I don't wanna be in love or none of that? Like, have you ever got to that point? I have, but that ain't true. I mean, like, it's okay to feel that way, but don't make that, you know, a thing. If yeah. I, if I, if y'all get what I'm saying, don't make that a priority. It's always, it's always somebody. It's always somebody out there. It's somebody out there. It definitely is. Yeah, I agree. Cause like sometimes you just get to like even when I'm talking to some of my friends, they be like, I just don't want to do this no more. And then next day they're like, Well, I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, Well, that's good. Cause you don't. We're too young to give up. Like we have a whole life ahead of us, and it's like you didn't know this person a year ago, and you were just fine. So I mean, just you'll be fine. If you just keep on keeping on, improve yourself and, you know, do better for yourself and not try to do better for other people because at the end of the day, you got to Yeah, if they ain't it, it's just not it. Yeah. That's all that is. What's your toxic trait? Ooh, do I even have any? I'll stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, do I even have any? really don't know y'all I mean so clear okay well since she don't know I got another question still on toxic traits but what toxic trait did your ex have or somebody that you were talking to that you were actually attracted to oh y'all let me tell you this so my crush right y'all oh, she's ex, smiling now well <laughs> <laughs> he was so wrong for doing this but listen I had the guts to call him and ask him out on a date right Tell me why he agreed, said yes, and everything. Oh, Told Lord. me, I gave him options like, hey, you want to do this, this, or this? He said, oh, okay, you got to choose, okay. All right. So tell me why after agreeing, right, we get off the phone. I'm happy, I'm nervous, heart just pounding. I can't believe I just did that. But then, you know, a couple days go by. I want to say by just two, just two days went by. 
And all I'm doing is just about to call them and you know let them know that I want to I want to cover everything since you know this is my plan to be the date you know mm -hmm. plan to date and everything. Y'all tell me why that the damn call went straight to voicemail. He wrong for that. <laughs> oh, he is wrong. But look, for that. the crazy thing is, okay, I'm just thinking maybe it's just because you know he's just leaving for Florida, like he said, probably like flight or whatever the case may be. Okay, cool. So another night go by. I'm like, you know, let me try calling him again. Went straight to voicemail. Yeah, I, I was just like, I was just in straight shot. Like, how you gonna tell me yes? I want, I want to go out. Yes, absolutely. And then gonna block my number, but still look at my story on Instagram. No, he didn't. He showed us. What, bro? See, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I ought to block you. No, I ought to block you on all social media. Because how you gonna do that? The crazy thing is, he the one who gave me the number. And you know. I don't understand that because some of y'all be really doing that for where it's like, oh, you go all day. Well, oh, I want to talk to you. I want to get to know you. Da, 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 da. Then we give you a chance and then you just dip. Like, what is that? Right. What is that? I don't understand. Like, that. was that supposed to make you feel good? About, you know, I don't know. Like, oh, you you got the opportunity. Like, oh, I got game. That's not is that cool. what that's supposed to be? I don't know. Because <laughs> we need to ask a man that because. That's happened to me so many times and it's embarrassing. It's like, it is. And on top of that, that made me feel like you label me as crazy or something like let me yeah. block this girl for asking me out like what i don't know that's it's what? weird but i had to you could have said me. no listen y'all it's okay to say no like don't have me thinking that you know we about to go on a date and everything and then yeah. just straight up block me like you was literally over here talking about yes you told me yes give me the decency not to waste my time you could have told me no we can take no y'all yes we can take no it's an option it's cool like right. just be real but all that faking is weird and leading on is terrible leading on is the worst thing you can do Ugh, not leave me bad on. taste in my mouth like <laughs> bruh i hate when that happens oh you're wrong for me you're wrong for that oh my gosh he, he should be ashamed whoever you are you should be ashamed of yourself right and then that's the crazy part, cause like, you know how some women, it's like, oh no, I'm not touching the tab, I'm not. There are people who got money, we got money. Right. So we can, we can pay some time. And not right. saying that every time. Not cause saying it every put time. like this, y'all, I just didn't feel right planning Asking. a date mm -hmm. and then making him pay for everything. Like that just don't make no sense and I'm trying to take him out. So I was just trying to call and let him know like, hey, I just wanna let you know that you know I'm covering everything since I'm the one who's trying to take you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. And in that same breath, don't ask us on a date and we have to plan everything. That is right. That don't make sense. That's lack of effort. Like that is so unattractive. Like just plan the freaking date, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like where are we going to the park? Oh, we're just walk. You, okay, bro. that's fine. You know what's the crazy thing? I was thinking about this today. The the essence of will you go out on a date with me is let's go have fun somewhere. Let's spend time together. Like that, right. it's so simple. Y'all make it so hard. I, you know what? Let's let's move on before she get frustrated. We got we getting frustrated. You yes. saw y'all saw saw what she did. <laughs> y'all see it all in our face. Like we we we're over it. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, next question is how many people are in your breakup cemetery? Can I be real with y'all? I never had to really break up my way. I'll say it was more like, and then on top of that, I'm gonna be real again. I've never been enemies with anybody I so called used to date. I don't think it, cause I don't think just because you dated that person, y'all automatically have to become enemies. Like, what are y'all getting it from? What are y'all getting it If it didn't for? work out, it just didn't work out. And y'all, like, I, I never had any beef with any of my exes. I want to say we always just, we just knew it just didn't work out, you know. Yeah. And it was just is what it was, just was what it was. And some of y'all act like, you know, it's just you don't want we to gotta be, be straight no up, more. right? Like y'all just gotta be straight up beefing now, and that's crazy. That is crazy. Like if it just didn't work out, why y'all can't just leave it at that? Now, okay, there, I have one ex that I cannot, I can't stand him because he lie all the time. Like, granted, we broke up back when I was going to ninth grade, so we dated in eighth grade. Mind y'all, I graduated college, so we still got like this beef because he he goes after my friends, try to talk to them, that he's a liar, like. It ain't even that I don't want you to date my friends. Date who you want to date, because I feel like just because I dated you and we didn't work out, like, bro, my friend might be great for you. Nah, right? I'm not tripping on you. Go try, that, go try that one out. You feel me? Cause I'm, <laughs> ain't no wrong with that. You're no, not mine. Right? Clearly, you ain't for me. But, bro, 
It's the fact that he, like, it was a, um, a young man I had met when I was a junior in high school. And he gonna tell this man, oh, I hope she don't cheat on you like uh, she cheated on me. And I was like, first of all, <laughs> I didn't cheat on you. <laughs> Let's get that straight. <laughs> like, why y'all be trying to put a bad name on somebody just because y'all not together no more? Just like, y'all ain't gotta find something if it's not nothing. Y'all be trying to look for something to, like, y'all be trying to look for something bad to why you yes. not with your, her, you know, with your um, partner no more. I be trying to find something bad to say when, when all y'all gotta be like is to oh, be cool. she was cool and everything, but you know we just didn't work out together wise. Some of y'all y'all don't want to say that. Y'all want to say something like, oh man, she was this, yep. she was bad, yada yada yada. Like it ain't gotta be like that, y'all. You don't even gotta talk. You don't gotta speak on them. Right. To be honest, but I just. He, he gets under my skin. <laughs> so I had to talk about him for a little bit. But like like you said, me and my exes, like a lot of me and my exes are cool. Like we collaborate. It's in our uh, love spell. Mm -hmm. I talked to one of my exes uh, and he wanted to be in it. He couldn't because of his, uh, his shows and everything. Mm -hmm. But his song is going to be in the movie. So it's like... They're still willing to help you because you're not. It's not that you were a bad partner or nothing. Y'all just didn't work out. Y'all just think y'all just won. Y'all yeah. y'all didn't click together. Yeah. That's all it was. But we were still we were friends before any of that. So it was like we still have a good foundation of I can still come to you if you need help or we can learn together. It's still cool. Like right. that was some y'all be just like I don't know why it's a trend for y'all. Y'all act like no, you gotta be just people with y'all act like that. No, you don't. Like <laughs> it don't have to be like that. It don't. Let me see. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get on. Okay, if you had to dress up your ex for Halloween, what costume would you pick out for them and why? Disinfecting wipes. Disinfecting wipes. Disinfecting wipes. Disinfecting wipes. Disinfecting wipes. What you say? <laughs> Disinfecting wipes. The 99.9 that kills bacteria. Now, why would you dress them up as disinfecting wipes? Because, like... Call that man Lysol. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he needs damn be Matter of fact, no. Matter of fact, I think the name, what I said, explains enough. Disinfecting wipes. The name is enough. Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh my boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would have to pick. No. You know, it's crazy. I've seen it. I outfit like that on Amazon. So if y'all want to look that up, go ahead. Y'all better get it before I get it. Cause she finna to go dress this man up. Be like, here you go. Go ahead, right. put that on. Um, tell us about a past event that made you feel like this cannot be happening. Like it's just like unbelievable. It depends on what that event is. Like, what's the category of that event? I'm gonna leave it up to you. Cause I don't know your life. It depends just, on just, like what category of my life is talking about. Oh my gosh. Um. I got it. I got it, y'all. I got it. So I'll she say, I got y'all. I got y'all. So where I used to work, I was working at, at the cash register, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me why the register ended up being short a thousand dollars on Damn. my register. And I was like, this cannot be happening. Like, I was dead for real. I was like, this cannot be happening. And let me tell y'all how that happened. So what Please, happened was... Please, because $1,000 is a right, lot. Right. Let me tell you how that happened. So there was a... I already been let y'all know. Spam call. Scam call. Mm. Let me tell you what happened. They called me. They called... Called me about something that we did call to have come fix. So mm -hmm. I thought it was legit. Because first of all, they called talking about the pen pad, which we called about the pen pad. So I thought it was the guy calling. Calling back. Right. About that pen pad, because our pen pad ain't been working. So he called and been very specific about the stuff we called and already, you know, talked to somebody about. So I really thought that he was calling about that pen pad. True enough, he got my ass. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, he got man. my ass. Then I, I thought, I was just like, this can't be happening. I was panicking. I thought I was going to go to jail. Did you have I to pay it back? No, I thought I did, but no. Girl, y'all, they was going to lock me up. <laughs> be it for real. They was going to lock me up because, because they were literally, instead of them being on my side, that's why I ain't like, instead of them being on my side and realizing, okay, they they did make it very legit. Right. You know, we're going to have to, you know, file this and, you know, get your side of the story so we can make sure this don't never happen again. Instead, they tried to catch me up and had the police waiting for me at the store. Talking about some, we just going to hear your side of the story. 
But what made me realize they had somebody waiting for me up there is when um, I had a friend with me. I said, okay, I don't mind coming up there telling, you know, saying what happened and went on. But what made me, you know, be like, okay, they got somebody waiting on me. It's because when I told them, I like, look, I got somebody with me. I'll be up there to, you know, tell my side of the story. Because it ain't going to take that long to take, you know, let them know what happened. Girl, tell me why they're going to call back. They're going to call back and say, oh, never mind. They'll see you um, sometime next week because you got somebody with you. Why does it matter that I got somebody with me? So I'm like, uh-uh, nope, got to get a lawyer. Y'all, y'all tripping. <laughs> like, y'all tripping. Yeah, but that was like, that was like, oh, my gosh, you can't be having the type of fun for me. Oh my lord! Yeah, it was the scariest. It was the scariest moment of my life. I'm being for real. I really thought I was going to jail. Oh, <laughs> I lord. thought I was going to jail for something I didn't do. I am so sorry that happened to you, bro. That, that just... <laughs> when I tell you, I brought ten minds. I like. Are they gonna come looking for me? They gonna come to my house? <laughs> I am like, cause they got my address on the right. Like so they gonna pull up in my door? Right. I ain't know what was gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Have you <laughs> have you ever felt any spiritual presence or paranormal yes. feelings? Share the experience with us. Okay. So um I'll say um I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Like I would say like do anybody else and like can I say comment down below? Comment down below if y'all agree with this one. So I had, I do be getting like random rings in my ear. Here and that's all the time we have for the notice. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the whole screen just went off after you said that. <laughs> I wish it might. It started glitching. No. I know. Like, all right, change the subject. Hurry up. They Man, I just plan. I just plan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah, do y'all ever get like random rings in one of your left or right ear? Because I do. It don't happen all the time. It just happens randomly. And um, I remember my grandma or somebody told me it's because like, you know, a ghost or some walk past you or trying to tell you something. Ooh. Or, um, oh no, no, this is what she said. She said it's an angel trying to warn you or tell you something. When you get like a, have you, let me ask you the question. Ooh. Have you ever got a little random ring in your ear before? <laughs> like it just went up for like, and it like happened a, like, like a frequency, like it's like, yes. yes, I have, I have. Okay. <laughs> said, Look, I'm not lying. Right? Okay. No. It was. But, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. And then I say another thing is like just random stuff just opening by itself. Yes. Girl, yes. Okay. I I want to say it's a win, but sometimes it be just it be just happening for no reason. But it don't happen all the time. But it, I just say it happens before. And I ain't just not, some stuff I be feeling like I shouldn't say nothing. I don't know how to explain it. I just be feeling like I shouldn't say nothing about it, but maybe I shouldn't bring it up. Maybe it's just happening just because I shouldn't. I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Change subject. I can tell y'all one thing, and then we're going to close out this part of our interview. But when I was little, like, I wouldn't know my mom is at work, but I would hear her calling me. Bruh, they, now, I don't know, bruh. They told me that it was the devil was trying to talk to you, but I ain't trying to answer the bell where you live. Like, all I hear is TT, TT, and I, you know, at this time I'm in my old, old house, so I'm like four or five years old, and I can remember that, and I would respond. But when I got older, they told me, if you hear somebody calling your name and you know no one is there, do not answer. That scared me, ain't gonna lie. Bruh, it scared me. No, no, no. Now, since you said that, that just reminds me of some type of dreams I be having. Not sometimes. I think I only had like once or twice, okay. and it was when I was little. But I would, y'all, let me know if y'all ever had a dream like this. But like, it'd be a dream to where you will, like you just sleep, but you cannot move. Sleep paralysis. Yes. Girl. Girl. <laughs> oh my god. That was the scariest thing ever. When I tell you, it was one when I I remember it so good because I was little and I think it was my first time ever experiencing it. I was laying on the bed. I was trying to move like I was on the bed like this. Just looking up and that damn you big ass. Your eyes with you? Yeah, my eyes open. I cannot Girl, open my eyes when I get it. So I only, I only can hear. I can't I open could my see, eyes. but I just couldn't move. That is crazy. I could see. look. I was dreaming. I knew I was asleep, but the same thing is like I'm asleep, but I'm dreaming. But I see everything that's going on. I just can't move. Right. And then like Tim, why this big ass yellow ducky fly across my head while I'm asleep? <laughs> I'm being for real. 
<laughs> I mean, for real, big old rubber ducky just fly across, and I can't move too. I'm just, you that know what I'm saying? Terrifying. It, it is. But I, you can't can't move no nothing. All the scariest experience I ever had. Like, but I don't know how much you do. You know about astral projection and things like that. What is that? Okay, so when you're getting into like sleep paralysis and everything, and you don't need to fight it. And I know it's scary, like, because you can't move. But basically, I don't know how much you like are into stuff like this, but you can come outside of your body and like go different places. Because, like, all right, so you have, I believe we all have a soul, mm -hmm. and then we have a shell. So, like, even when you're referring to myself, I am, da, 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 we are talking about our soul. We're not really talking about like our outsides. <laughs> so when you go, go into those dimensions, you can see different things and you can experience different things while your body is resting, your mind is up. Right. And that's what that is. I think, yeah, I think that's what it is too. Yeah. But that's the thing I remember like also with the same experience, uh, being asleep and can't move, but yeah. something like going on in the background. But I guess as I got older, I ain't been scared. You know, so badly, even though I know it's a nightmare, but I ain't really get scared by it, but I can't move. But yeah. I know I learned how to fight myself to wake up. To like, get do you wiggle your toes? Like, or, or what do you do to I get think back? I, I, don't, I think I would clench real hard and mm -hmm. just, I think I close my eyes real tightly, knowing mm -hmm. that I'm in a dream. Like, I hear what's going on behind me and all that other stuff. Like, it ain't real now. I don't, it ain't real. It's still a dream. But, like, if I know, I know it's a scary dream, mm -hmm. or, you know, a bad dream. I know how to fight my way out of it and wake back up. Okay. I, I think I, I think I did that probably like seven times. I don't know. I can't even put a number on it, but I know it happened more than one time. Do you know how to go back into it, or do, would you want to go back into it like no, knowingly? Okay. No. And I think I accidentally be falling back into it because I be sleepy and I be wanting to go back to sleep. But I know if I go back to sleep, it's gonna put me right back in that same spot, and that be the scary. That be the scariest thing. Like, I, I can like tell that. you one thing: if you don't want to go into it, I do it sometimes just because I like doing stuff like that. I don't know. No, it's because. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all heard. It's not. It's not a bad thing. It just depends on your perspective on yeah. it. Yeah. But if you don't want to, you just need to make sure you eat before you go to bed. Because if you don't, the the hungrier you are, or like the closer you are to being empty, it it gives you like you're closer to leaving, and that's where that little pinnacle like okay. I'm gonna step out my body. That's where that comes from. But yeah, um, so y'all make sure y'all y'all make sure y'all comment y'all stories and stuff, and then let us know if y'all can relate to any of this stuff too. Because like I know, I be good thing I'm not the only one. Oh, thank yeah. You know, thank goodness I ain't sitting talking and she looking at me crazy like, you that happened to you? Like, no. You know, good thing she agreeing because I would have been like, yeah, change subject. And you're like, oh, you don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. But yeah, guys, um, that is the end of this interview. Come back next week to see part two of our little game. I'm Taisha, this is Diamond, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.